This mechanics problem is interesting. We have these two masses that are going to be balanced on this fulcrum-like structure here. We're trying to figure out where we need to put this second mass on this structure in order to perfectly balance the structure so that way it does not tilt one way or the other. I need to recognize that there will be a torque caused by mass 1. There will also be a torque caused by mass 2, and in order for there to be balanced, torque 1 has to equal torque 2. Now there's an equation for torque, which says that torque is going to equal the perpendicular force, and both the forces are going to be directly perpendicular to the distances in this case, multiplied by distance. And the force that we're dealing with is weight force. So basically we can say that both torques are equal to the product of mass and gravitational acceleration times distance. So we're going to have m1 g d1 is equal to m2 g d2. Since gravitational acceleration is just a constant, it's going to cancel in this equation. Now if I want to go ahead and solve for d2 in this problem, I'll just go ahead and take m2 and I'll divide it on both sides of this equation. So this is the equation that we need in order to balance the structure. 